Hello, the objectives of this video is to explain composite action and present an example of caution. Two things to note before we start this. We cannot add stress or stress strains or stresses individually together. However, deformations can be added. And what I mean by deformations is the total force on a structural element. Now we consider this aluminium column filled with copper in the interior. The first picture presents to us the top of the cross section and this and the second picture presents to us an elevation of the column. Okay? Now what is composite action? Composite action is like let's say we have two materials stuck together such as this aluminium and copper. If you look at the second picture it is undergoing compression. Aluminium and copper will um, go through the same rate of compression. They compress by the same amount. And this is what composite action is called. Okay? So the entire column compresses by the same amount. Both copper and aluminium compress by the same amount and behave compositely. Okay? So how do we make composite action work? We need we need a bond. Otherwise it's not gonna work. So to guarantee the success of composite action a bond or a fusion is needed between the two materials. For example, if the surface contact was greased, another word for slippery, and the load was only applied to let's say the copper, then the copper would only compress. And vice versa, if the load was only applied to the aluminium, the aluminium would only compress. So to achieve composite action, which is extremely important, we have to make